Welcome into the next episode of the Gist of the Chris Halloween Special, Season 3! And I got a lovely package in the mail recently. So you know what that means. It's mail time, but the first mail time ever during the Halloween Special. But inside this box, there's some sweet items. But there's one particular thing in there that I want to talk about and share with you guys that's pretty dang cool and unique. And that is the Polaroid Chief. Let's get into it. Before we get into this unique and amazing Polaroid Chief camera, I wanted to show you some of these other things that are in the box. It's a big box. This was sent to me by Dave Knopp from the Knopp Top YouTube channel. You guys know that. He makes the coolest things. Well, I was complaining to him about there not being many Stranger Things items in my area. We just never got anything really. There was a couple of stuff, but it was pretty, pretty minimal. So finding cool, unique, collectibles and Stranger Things themed things was and has been pretty difficult. Well, Dave took it upon himself to make that a challenge and he sent me a Stranger Things box and it is pretty epic. We got Demogorgon Pop It. We got the Stranger Things VHS Brownie Kit. You can even put them in like a little cardboard sleeve. We got Nestables, Russian nesting dolls. We got 3D Doritos, Eleven's favorite waffle mix. Are these waffles or cookies? Oh, it glows in the dark. Yeah, it is waffle mix. Wrappers from Doritos. Nice, Dave, munching out. Ooh, and there's the flashlights. There's two of these. I'm actually gonna be giving these away over on Instagram, so go check out the Instagram page for the details. What's up, bro chachos? I'm here to tell you about the Spitfire Club, my dudes. Serving up a nice slice of behind the scenes content, extended videos of the main channel, and a monthly photo sent to your door every month. Did I say that already? Every month? Monthly. And there's gonna be monthly Zoom calls coming soon. We can chat, we can hang out, we can learn, we can teach each other, we can hold ourselves accountable. It's gonna be a good time. And if you wanna get one of these t-shirts, well, you're in luck. If you're a member, that is, exclusively for members only. No one else will get these. <laughs> Unless you are a member of the Spitfire Club. Consider becoming a member today. Monthly photos sent to your door. Did I say that already? So if you want to join the Spitfire Club, there's a link in the description below. Now I gotta get back out there and make some pineapple pizza, baby. <laughs> Try before you deny, bro, chachos. And lastly, it's a form-fitting case for the Polaroid One Step 2 camera. But he added the Stranger Things logo to the top of it. <laughs> I've been having an eye on this case for a while. I'll leave some links to those in the description. But I've been wanting to get one, I just never pulled the trigger in. It's like a hard shell, form-fitting. It's really nice, protects the camera. And of course, the Chief. Now there is one more thing that, that came in that box, but I'm actually gonna save it for tomorrow's video. Pretty freaking sweet. It was something else that he made. But this is so neat and an original cool idea. There's a couple of unique things that he did to this thing that makes it even cooler. So instead of me talking about what he did, why don't we get the man himself in here and let him talk about what he did to this thing. So Dave. Yes. What all did you do to this thing? Oh, that camera, yes. The chief camera is pretty much a button camera. Oh. <sighs> okay, well. And it kind of worked out like this. <laughs> that was a dramatic reenactment. I dropped the camera, it busted the back end, and so I thought it would be a great donor for the front end. It kind of looks like Terminator, doesn't it? Look at that. I'm gonna try to use it like this, see how it turns out. And on your camera specifically, there's a couple modifications. You got that cool grill on the front. Yeah, you see that? That's nice. I popped off this little lens right here and put an ND filter behind it and then popped it back on. And so now instead of using SX70 film, you can use 600 film. And a quick little paint job, some logos, and there you go. Oh, and a flash bar that just looks cool. 
You did a seriously awesome job with this. It looks so cool on the shelf as well as shooting with it has been pretty fun. But there's one thing I had to keep in mind. I love the aesthetic of this camera, especially with the, the DIY lo-fi effect you did here with the flash bar. I do have to remember to take this off and sh to shoot with it because this is still a flash bar and it will affect the shutter. I think it's fun and it goes perfectly with my Stranger Things collection, which is actually gonna be what we're talking about in the next video, tomorrow's episode. Or if you're watching this in the future, you can just click on through the playlist. I'm gonna be talking about and showing you how I made some of the costumes and props via tutorials and just a quick little show and tell of my Stranger Things collection. It's gonna be a fun one. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video and thanks again to Dave for putting this epic camera together. But hopefully this has inspired you to get out there and create something that is unique to you. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there, make some art.